Hi guys, this is going to be just a recap for the week. Um, just summarizing some of the things that I'm seeing on the chart. So I'm coming out to the daily to start with. And again, I'm still struggling with this sideways move here, which is why I'm not overly keen on this move, giving me a full out bullish impulse. There's, there's no real logic to this. If we take this as the zero, we're coming up one, two. This doesn't really make sense sideways three because we don't have enough of an extension here. So there's no Fibonacci logic sitting in there apart from this one pullback. There's no ABC in this pullback. Um, and, and therefore, I'm struggling with this particular logic on the right-hand side. Now, going back into this particular zone, um, I'm also not seeing anything that I really like. You can clearly see an ABC type swing here. Just because of the day after with the pullback, we've got to take that as the assumption and part of this new count. So, again, just from here to you know to, to this low, um, it is really where it doesn't feel really bullish. It's kind of confusing, kind of sideways. I think retail sentiment is pretty bullish as a whole, um, and therefore I wouldn't be surprised to see you know a big wick come in at some point and uh, and really upset a lot of people. On the daily, we've got a false bar, and therefore I kind of feel that if we look at where this false bar started, which is around this candle, um, I kind of feel that we've you know we've grown really not very far. Um, We've got very low volume supporting the move up. So I kind of feel that we've got some kind of divergence sitting in there. We've got the false bar up on top. And therefore, yeah, nothing really exciting in this particular move just yet. If I get rid of these um, and step out into the weekly, um, then this might make again a little bit more sense in terms of where we currently are. So the weekly, um, we'd actually overbought already. Again, you know, kind of rubbish volume sloping as we get this kind of grind on it. So I, I think for me, this is just building a lot of false hope for a lot of people thinking that this is just going to carry on to an all time high without any kind of pullback. And I just feel that, yeah, there's something drastic kind of likely to happen. So first things first, I think the real kind of trick for me was to look out at the weekly time frame, you know, monthly time frame, and then try to come back into this as part of the strategy. I've just released a video um, this morning to the subscribers um, on this particular methodology. Um, and what I'll do is if I just come into the monthly time frame, and then before I jump into the monthly time frame, I'll actually show this on the advanced get software instead this will make a little bit of sense um in terms of where we are at the moment as a whole so let me just flip across to the advanced get software and i will put this on here and in the advanced get this is something that automates the elliott wave count for me um although i'm not always the major fan on the particular counts, but this one makes a little bit of sense in terms of where we are. So if we look at this move down, we clearly had an ABC move within there. So that kind of ticks a box. Now we could argue that we've seen a one move in here, a two move back down quite deep. And this is the three move, right? So that's kind of option one. That's obviously bullish in terms of the nature, which means we're going to see a pullback and then a larger move up now if you look at where they've allocated the five the one major concern for me is even if we are very bullish on this particular move and let's assume we are like this you know kind of give this the benefit of the doubt if we assume that this is a bullish move and we get a relatively small pullback you know 42 43 um and then we shoot on up the reality is we're only looking at a peak above this all-time high and I think in some regard, that is something that I feel Composite Man would probably play 
as a move, as a scenario, because there's a lot of assumptions that we're going back down to 23 and 19 and, you know, even sub 30. And therefore, rationale on that particular move would be why would Composite Man now want buyers down at that level? On the flip side of that, you've got to look at this and say, if we were only to reach, you know, 65, 66,000, how much more in terms of retail buying would this attract for a much bigger corrective on this move? Now, I kind of didn't want to believe this move to start with. And the more I've looked at it, the more plausible this becomes. So I'm not saying this is categorically what it is or how it's going to be. But I kind of feel that this is something that we have to keep in the back of our minds in terms of this particular move. Okay, So stepping out on to the monthly time frame, the reason that I think this is quite logical is that on this monthly time frame, we're actually looking at an A move down, right? So if I get rid of these a second, so just keep in mind what's on the screen at the moment. Let's get rid of these lines. Then in essence, what we've seen on the monthly time frame is basically a straight move down. We've seen no corrective move in that time frame, which means we've got potential for a B. And of course, this B could bring us up practically the same level. So there's a lot of logic in this particular point back down to the weekly and then given us you know even if it was back down to the same level just given us some aggressive ugly type c move um so uh, it's a tricky one i think you know i gotta keep both options in mind i still don't feel comfortable bullish right now i don't know in terms of a bearish move whether this is going to go straight down there's a lot of logic to suggest that we will and probably a very sharp move overall um, might be on the cards. But like I said, I, I like to look at the two or three different options and scenarios and then try to decipher which one is more likely before actually making any you know major decision in terms of the bias. So that's where we are currently in terms of the advanced get. And if I flip back then to this, what we're looking at is clearly a single move down, push back B. Let's just assume that B finishes here, then we're going to get some kind of C anyway. So on the monthly, I'm seeing potential for pullback. Um, anyway, you know, we might get another little poke up. I think that'd be a cruel move if it was to happen that on the monthly, um, because I think the expectations are once we make a new all time high, that this is going to 100k. So I think the irony for composite man would actually be a, a, a method that they might use in terms of the big institutional players to take this, you know, collect 65, 66, and then drop it all the way back down to, you know, 40, 35, potentially even 30 or lower. So I think that is something, like I said, keep in the back of your mind. On the weekly, I kind of feel, you know, th th this, this move up is starting to shorten the thrust I think if I take the current stochastic, then I think, you know, we are already in the overbought level. We've got low volume, as I said earlier, which means, yeah, not really excited. I think worst case scenario, we're going to get a pullback anyway. So monthly, weekly, um, both similar kind of situations at the moment. So, um, yeah, I think for me, that really is the overall situation. And then the last thing to show you, is we've actually got a bot developed um, within our kind of ecosystem, um, which basically talks about the COT leverage funds and the asset managers. These are basically the big boys. So where we are at the moment, we've clearly been dropping the shorts all the way from, what is this? All the way from uh, January, these shorts have been dropping, dropping, dropping. However, We've now got a slight increase in the shorts here and then the orange being the long. So at the moment, the orange long positions are relatively low in terms of the leverage funds um, and nothing really tapering. So I think this is possibly still only retail buy-in and you know who they're ultimately buying from is, is the leverage funds right now.
I think the inverse on the asset managers, but ultimately these guys are longer winded in terms of their um, kind of hold strategies ultimately. And therefore we've got um, a nice slope in terms of the accumulation. So that kind of gives me confidence for a bullish bias overall. But I think in terms of the shorts right now, we've actually got a nice increase. So again, my question here, even from the asset manager side, is we go back one week, two weeks, three weeks, back the last month, we've actually got um, an increase, obviously, in the shorts, which for me, in simple kind of layman's terms, would suggest that if retail are buying, who are they actually buying from? And I think the answer is written in this here. So, uh, yeah, so at the moment, that's what I'm seeing currently for the week. Um, that's where we are to finish this week off. I think it's um, yeah, a, a kind of a hyped move overall with very little volume. Um, and ultimately, little volume means that uh, we're actually getting decent size moves in terms of price action with no real substance underpinning. It's almost like a lack of interest right now um overall other than retail interest you know hyping this to the moon so um yeah i think you know i'm still pretty much sat on the fence sat on my hands waiting to see what next looking for some confirmation and then we can take it from there as the next kind of step so um have a great weekend and um, we'll see you ultimately next week